Oh yeah, see you BTS number one! TLC, the pinnacle of class. We've seen adults' obsessions. And they thought for some reason that kids' obsession was appropriate. And here we are, reacting to it. Can't wait. Let's go. This child, this nine-year-old, is obsessed with collecting cockroaches. Which one of you is it? Feds up right now. Can you cancel a child? Can time story? I don't want to go to bed. Oh god, it's right there. Said we needed... Like that? Hey. Okay, kids, time to get up and eat. It's time for bed, babe. Oh god, what's with the milk? Oh god, is it for the cockroaches? Good night, Shelby. Does she dip the cockroaches in milk like cookies? Why am I on brain going here? I don't know what's going <laughs> No! No! Oh, God! Hi, my name is Shelby Counterman. I am not as old and I collect cockroaches. Oh, don't kiss it. You can't do that. You can keep them in a little cage, okay? As a pet. I would allow that. Oh god, why you gotta do that? When I started collecting roaches, I only had five. That's five too many, I hope you understand this. How, you don't collect that. Oh, oh. And now I have thousands. Teach the world to not be afraid of cockroaches. I don't think I need to teach, be taught that. Another one. Thank you. They say children helps us open our eyes to different point of view and I know <laughs> what the fuck what, I what? like roaches because when they call my arms they tickle me and when I hold them they can be real happy uh I could do without them but explain yourself dad how do you like this happen I absolutely don't love the cockroaches but I can deal with them I do have freak out moments every once in a while Ew, the tiny ones. Why would you have the tiny ones? Why would you have any of these? <laughs> Get them all. No one just escape, mommy. But overall, you know, I've come to accept Shelby's passions. My favorite thing about roaches is that they oh, are God. unique and special. Oh, oh, God, they're huge. They could eat her. They could eat her. If the parents leave her alone one day, she'd be gone. Bing bang. They bite, right? Oh god, they're so nasty looking. My favorite thing about cockroaches is that someday in the near future that they will all go away. Well, you're not helping, are you? We all wish that was the thing. Case. Ah, oh, you. I want to teach people about my roaches because they're not monsters and they can be really cute and funny. Funny, huh? Yeah. They tell a joke, huh? She is pregnant and right. Oh, is that what that was? I wasn't sure what that was, but that just I don't like the uh oh. Uh. You can see her egg casing it in the is back her of egg her case. adamant. These are my Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They're hiss! And sometimes they're too noisy, I will hiss at them. The exoskeleton is their bones on the outside of their body. They shed their exoskeleton and they turn snow white for just a couple of hours and then they get their normal color back. Oh, that's creepy. The roaches, they do not bite. They're not harmful at all, except they may be a little stinky once in a while. Ew. Well, at least they don't bite, okay? That makes it a little better. But stinky? We trade bite with stinky? Look at our f***ing room, dude. What is happening here? Maybe tone it down. Maybe say no. Maybe say, hey, you can get one toy at the toy store. Once in a while. This, this is what happens. This is a taxidermy beetle. I use them to clean out the dead bugs in my cage so it doesn't smell so bad. Oh my god, of course. There's got to be so many dead ones. <laughs> they eat themselves. They eat the flesh off bones. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice sentence to hear from a nine-year-old. Ah! Cockroaches, Shelby. Cockroach. Oh shit. Oh shit. Bravest man is cameraman. <laughs> well, this is interesting. No judgment. I'm just not coming over for dinner. Burn the house. Burn it down. 
God damn it. Here's one less offensive, at least as I understand. Uh, he's obsessed with vacuums. That's my dream. If I have a child, I'll make them like obsessed with cleaning or something. And I'll forever have a free cleaning lady. Cleaning lady man. The only thing 13 year old Logan Holes of Sibley, Iowa likes more than the sound. I can't, I can't hear. Vacuum cleaners <laughs> What's that? The feeling of one in his hands. I feel joy when I vacuum. I always vacuum at least three or four times a day just to get that nice feeling. Here you get. You fucking what, mate? Say it again. <laughs> hey, all right. Kids can like anything, clearly. <laughs> what? Up in the morning, he cracks the vacuum on. That's vacuum a cool vacuum. Suspended. Then when he comes downstairs. It's got a light on it. You can vacuum in the dark. That's sick. And then through my living room, through the dining room, and then my kitchen. And he will come home from school and then vacuum again. It makes me feel kind of annoyed because there's always a vacuum running around yeah, the house. And I can't really concentrate on what I want to do. He brings them out with him. Okay, of course. I usually like to go to other places to vacuum. My mom works at the hair salon. That makes sense. So I like to go there. He likes to come down here, obviously, and do some vacuuming of the hair. And of course, we need it done daily. And so he will come down and do it daily here. And then when I'm done at my mom's salon, my dad's a fire chief. So I vacuum the fire hall. I, I like <laughs> having Logan down. Hey, he's got the Henry. Let's go. Everyone in UK has that vacuum, and I've never seen it in my entire life, but literally everyone. Do you have this one in other countries? It's just everywhere. Everyone has the Henry. And he takes care of it. He's like my maid, if you will. But he makes sure... There you go! There you go! That's what I said! You get personal free maid! Your son's the vacuum kid. Next thing you know, we're receiving vacuums from these people that were broken. And uh, most of the people thought it was just to let him play with them and experiment with them and things like that. But now he's repairing them and handing it back to him. So here's your vacuum back. And they're going, I just gave it to you to play with. I didn't <laughs> expect it to return in working condition. <laughs> I mean, it seems he's like a young entrepreneur. If he can make, you can make a business out of this. And then you get personal slate and a personal income, uh, personal free uh, work. Uh, okay. I wanted to add to my collection. Hey, Brenda. Hi, Logan. Got a vacuum for you. So, I created a business, Logan's Miracle Works. There we go. Vacuum cleaner repairs. Hell yeah. Should be. Okay, thank you. Every time I fix a vacuum cleaner, I feel like a detective trying to find out a crime. Screws. I usually try to dig deep far into the vacuum. If I find something odd looking, I always take that apart and put a new one back in. Do you think he knows what he's doing? Voila. The most important part about fixing a vacuum cleaner is having to test the vacuum cleaner to see if it runs. Uh -huh. I use glitter as my test dust because it's one of the hardest substances to vacuum up. <laughs> he speaks English as well as I. Hardest substances to vacuum up. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> it's kind of... Well, it's better than cockroaches, okay? Can we agree on that? Better than drinking, selling drugs on the block. Yeah, I think. Well, you're setting the bar pretty low. I love when kids do that. Like, at least I'm not out doing drugs and drinking. And we're like, oh, yeah, cool. So you're not doing the worst thing you could be doing. Thank you. Thank you so much, child. Well, you want me to bow? Huh? What do you want me to kiss your feet? What is this? At least I'm not out doing crack cocaine. But, but you wouldn't even know where to buy crack cocaine, pussy. I see who you hang around with. He's no longer weird if he made it into a business smart man. Yeah, see, that's what I was hoping for, and he did, so cool. Good for him. I'm okay with this one. This one gets the pass. Uh, moving up in the age bracket, but this girl is obsessed with celebrity stalking. Five-year-old Vanessa Sky Ellis spends every day on the hunt for celebrities. Are you from One Direction? No. I'm funny. No? no. <laughs> nope, I am not, uh... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Real oh, good. Over the past seven years, she's managed to grab over 10,000 autographs and pictures Whoa. with famous people. <laughs> I, I'll go after whoever, whenever. That's Mario Cantone. Can I get an autograph, sir? She's got a high standard. I'll go after anyone, whoever. This is like the worst people I meet because I can tell when someone just wants a photo because they think you're famous, right? And when they're actually watch your channel or whatever. Please. 
celebrities fighting is the most important thing to me. It's more important than having a boyfriend, than going to work, than doing anything. Can I get a quick photo with? I have no idea who that is. Thank you. Oh, wow. Love that. That was gen well, that was a genuine nice um, exchange, right? Bye. <laughs> Look at the smile. Thank you. Whoa. Dude. So fake. Bye. Bye bye. Vanessa works nights as a bartender, so she can spend her days running around the city tracking down celebrities. Maybe I only sleep like two hours of sleep, because then in the morning I <laughs> What a sentence. I sleep two hours of sleep. <laughs> You don't fucking say, do you? <laughs> but getting to actually meet someone famous isn't always as easy as it looks. I was wondering, is there any way I can get in? Um, no. Right backstage. That didn't work? I was wondering, is there any way to get in? Oh my god, what if I saw BTS one day? That would be dream. Her apartment walls are plastered with just a small portion of the 10,000 photos she's taken over I mean, that's years. quite an collection. Look at that. A whole bunch of photos of celebrities. And I have about 20, 30 different boxes. I want to see the ones she took that isn't a celebrity, but she mistook it for one, because those are always so funny. She has to have a lot of them. And she doesn't favor one star over another. A photo with political figure Al Sharpton is just as treasured as a photo with Hollywood superstar Angelina Jolie. <laughs> a snapshot with Pat Sajak is I don't just know as who good that is. as meeting the Jersey Shore's Pauly D. No, I don't think. I think they're equally shit. I have no idea who, who the first guy is. And I don't think Pauly D. Oh, God. To me, there's no such thing as a celebrity being an E-lister or a B-lister or a C-lister. Was that JC? Did I see that right? No, I can't tell. No, it isn't. There are a C lister. They're all celebrities. Luke Perry, Green Day, Meatloaf, Alan Cumming, Zach Efron, Donny <laughs> Osman. Me getting another photo with somebody, that's me achieving. That makes me feel good. Jason Tam, Jason Tam, Jason <laughs> Tam, Jason Tam. <laughs> Jason Tam. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's, why do you have to do the same? Stop, leave Jason Tam or whatever alone, please. Leave him alone. He ain't doing nothing. Oh God, that was beautiful. Love that. All right, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like, subscribe. I got way more TLC videos if you want to check them out. And thank you uh, for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Rofus.